and get started with Chip, and then we're gonna gonna go to Mark Weiser. Yeah, Aaron, I, I know how hard you guys work every day. Uh, what was that locker room like, and uh, what was the feeling once you guys uh, knew you had that W? Um, it was a great feeling. You know, um, it's been a long time, and we needed this win. Uh, we knew we needed one, so it was a great feeling. We know we're not done. We just got to keep building on it. Aaron, obviously you guys had a really good free throw percentage in the second half. How, how important is it for this team to, to get to the line as much as you did uh, tonight to, to win these kind of games? Um, it's very important. You know, this is a very physical league. Um, everybody is really aggressive defensively. So we know that we're going to get fouled night in and night out. So we have to be able to make free throws. And Coach Crean does a really good job of, you know, implementing free throws into our practice plans um, and our shoot around. So um, you know, it's huge. It, it paid off tonight, and glad we got the win. It, that was a big part of it. A uh, big part of it. Okay. Next, we're going to go to Drew Beal and then Charles Odom. Hey, Aaron. Congrats on the big win. Uh, I talked to Jackson yesterday in the press conference, and he said one of the big keys for you guys to win tonight was to kind of run Jaden Shackford off the three-point line. Uh, and obviously, he started five of seven from beyond the arc in the first half. But y'all did a great job limiting him and his touches in the second half. How important do you think? You know, the defensive adjustments you made at halftime were to getting this win? Um, huge, huge. You know, that was a, a really great, um, you know, scout by the coaches. Coach Mason did a really good job telling us, hey, he's he's already got 16 points and he's shooting mostly catch and shoot three. So, you know, he told us stay attached. Don't let him get anything, um, you know, where he's catching it and he's just shooting it. We, we tried to run him off the line it, and it helped us get the win just because, you know, we kind of frustrated him, kind of kept him out of the game. So, um, you know, keeping a, a really good player like that quiet, um, especially when he's like their best player, you know, it's huge and, and um, it's a big attention to detail type of thing. So um, great job by the coaches and great job by the players to execute. Have a good one, Coach Crane was reminding us yesterday. That Coach Crane was reminding us yesterday that there's still two thirds of the season left to season play. Left to play. Um, um, what can, what this can this game mean for you guys in terms of confidence? Um, it means everything, you know, like I said, we just got to keep building on it. And we knew uh, we knew we could play with any team in this conference. You know, we feel like we're good enough to play with any team. And, you know, based on how the games have been going, you know, we've been in pretty much every game until the end. And, you know, I tried to tell the guys, you know, after after some of our losses, you know, no man is defeated until you accept defeat as a reality. You know, and that's and I think that's a big thing. And this team is not giving up. I feel like we never give up. And we just continue to fight. And, you know, that 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 type of stuff pays off in the end of, at the end of the day. So, you know, not job's not done, still got to win more games. But um, it was a big win for us. Big confidence boost. OK, next we're going to go to Lance McCurley and uh, Mark Bradley. I asked uh, Brian Lance a second ago, I'll ask you, what was your reaction to the, you know, just like football chant with about 17 seconds left and how it kind of carried over and how you felt when it uh, finally uh, happened um, when the clock hit zero? Um, it was, it was crazy. You know, that's probably the first time I, well, not the first time, but, you know, especially after a win, a big win like this, that was the loudest that I think has been in here. And um, the fans were, were there pretty much the whole game. We heard them really um, a lot down the stretch. And I think it kind of, flustered them and kind of got us going. So, you know, the fans are huge e each and every game. And I think the more that we can get more fans in this in these um, in these seats, the more we can win. And, um, you know, the more confidence they give us to go out there and do what we do. Uh, no questions. Thank you. OK, we are going to go to uh, Jack Leo and then finish off with Thomas uh, Brezzi. Hey, Aaron. Um, throughout the last couple of weeks, we've heard a lot just through different press conferences that spirits have uh, been kind of kept high despite, you know, some of the losses. Uh, how much does a win like this kind of add and kind of boost those spirits? Is it is it like that? I'm sorry. What you said, how much does it add? What? Like boost to those spirits. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, you know, it's, it's huge. It's huge uh, for our confidence. You know, I think, you know, going into the next game, now that we know, you know, we just had to learn how to win. But, you know, now that we know we can play with these guys and, you know, it comes down to those last few possessions, every possession matters. And, you know, I think tonight we had a couple possessions where it could have cost us the game. But, you know, we, we made the right adjustments and we fixed it. So um, it's huge for our spirits going forward. And I think it gives us a lot of confidence going into this next game at Vanderbilt. 
Hey, Aaron. Uh, this Alabama team is often defined by their guard play with Javon Quinterly, J.D. Da- uh, Davison, and Jaden uh, Shackelford. Uh, what was it like for uh, Georgia to have such a strong game from their guards and be able to kind of match, if not uh, best, those three guys? Um, it's huge. You know, I think it wasn't just the guards. Though. I think it was a, a, a team effort, you know, um, and that's what this team is all about. And it's not always about you know, who, who's scoring the points. You know, Jackson comes over and huddles us up. Even when I'm not huddling us up, Jackson come over, pulls us together and say, hey, we're going to win this game. You know, it takes leaders like that and players like that that are so selfless and, and willing to, you know, sacrifice scoring and, you know, the the things that shine, um, you know, so, so that the team can win. So it is definitely a team effort, regardless of who scores the points and who's getting the assist and the rebounds. Um, you know, from one to 14 or 15, how many, however many players we have, you know, it's, everybody's involved and that's what leads to wins. Okay. Thanks, Aaron. Congrats on the win. Thank you.